Okay, next phase in our installation. So phase one is virtual box. Phase two is installing this one, what you're seeing now. So we have already something graphical. And the last thing is to check if there is something you can use in the personal folder. So the personal folder is um, there to help you as well. You check out what's inside these uh, scripts. So do check the inside of this um, particular script or any of these scripts. Open it up with your favorite editor. In this case, it was standard Atom, but you can open it with anything else. And it's going to make sure that your uh, directories are created and that some of the hidden folders are there that we normally use all the time. So right mouse click, there is an open with, and you can tell the system, open it as default with, for instance, sublime text, which is faster to load up. And there you go, you just edit it. So let's run these scripts. So 100 is installation of the personal folders. So that's done. Have uh, you seen what it was? And this is the personal bookmarks. This is really personal, but hey, you can change anything in these uh, settings. So these will be the scripts that uh, I'll take. When you install the Nemesis scripts, this is of course super personal, well, like with uh, folders, Arch Linux, Arch Linux B, Arch Linux D and all that. So this is still okay in the sense that I want you to realize that etc scale is the folder for Arch Linux. All the settings, all the tweakings, why XFC is looking like this, why that has shortcuts like that, it is in here. So everything, anything you can, you, you screw up in your system in the home folder, you have a backup. This is your actually your backup. But when we uh, improve things or, or add things, then it's going to be installed in here in the etc scale. So when you see a update, when you uh, type update here and you see it, communication at Linux package has been updated and has been installed to etc scale. That's this thing. And you'll never see it unless you copy paste it over to your system. So control A, control C, con and go to your home directory, control V is going to make, um, to update everything really. So replace all and you're back up to date. So now the last configuration scripts and all that are in your own home directory. So that's the idea. Uh, let's go back. So that's scale for you. Oh, I don't know uh, where I was. Where was I? I was here. So personal bookmarks and then the Firefox fix in the sense that we need to first start Firefox. And it's just if you notice that when, when you use one of the dark themes, there are lots of themes in here. When you go to appearance, there's lots of themes. But once, once you use a dark one, you'll see that some of the elements, this is black on white, which is great. But some of the elements have grayish on white and it's almost unreadable so for that reason i've included a script so it's an easy fix for me to just run this thing and then i have uh, a beautiful look normally i will not run the 400 set h so let's run it at this time so from um, what is this thing this is actually a change in your bash so we have here where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here, shell. So changing your shell. So, sorry. Um, so instead of bash standing here, we'll get ZSH. And there is some difference how to use it. And there is some theming. That's an advantage. But first of all, it's very clear you have to do something. A big block to get your attention. Pseudo change your shell. My name is Eric. Minus S bin h so you use your own login basically we're going to say here change the shell for eric to the shell is bin zsh there it is and then changing shell for eric shell changed all you need to do is log out again log out log out one of the advantages of being in virtualbox you can actually log out and continue 
I just saw that the blank was broken. That's normal if you do a copy paste from ETC Scal. Blank does not like you mess with his settings. So there you go. Control T, Control T, Control T, Control T. Each time you press a new terminal, you'll get an other theme arrow. The Unraveler, Candy, and Zan. So this is what I um, created in the sense that this is now a random theme. So one of the fun stuff in ZSH is that you can uh, install themes in there and I set it to random. So whatever, whenever I go to the terminal and never know what I'll end up with, which is for me awesome. But of course there's a setting so you can unset it again. So not random. But that is ZSH for you as some different shell to work with. Um, I suggest you just stay with Bash if you're a Linux uh, beginner, but you can experiment of course and that's why Arc Linux is here to learn. Now last thing to include in the video as well is Ctrl H too much folders. Arco XFCE. So we've uh, explained all of these guys from here to here and that one as well, that one as well and that one as well. These are the places where all the scripts point to. So these contain scripts, but there are more scripts that we don't install. Let's look for one wire, VM, workstation here, VM, VMware, not installed, WPS, not installed. So more elements can be installed. And of course you can use Trizen because it says AUR. So you use an AUR helper, yay, Trizen, Yahoot, all that. And then for the people who are in phase five, remember we are a learning distro, let's say, and there is uh, phase one, two, three, four, five, and eventually there's gonna be a six at some point in time. And um, you'll see that, let's show you guys on the web here. There you go. So phases, why phases? Take a look, it's learning phases. And what was I saying here? So the archway, right? So phase five, we have, we step away from the Arco Linux installation. We download the ISO from Arch Linux and we install it the archway in different um, hardware, the old hardware, the newer hardware, go over phases and eventually also end up with XFCE. And it's going to look very well, um, vanilla, that's the best word I, I can say. This is the original look from XFCE. And then it's up to you to make all these scripts, uh, make it work again, make it nice again. So we end up with this, which is a bit, a bit better, right? So that's the archway. If you are going to um, try that, you need to have some keys. You need to trust the keys and add the repo from Arco Linux to the Pac-Man in Arch Linux and then you're what we call then you spiced up your system then you have Arch Linux with the spices of Arco Linux. Alright enjoy your Arco Linux D system.